Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to open up this Sideshow collectible Gambit statue. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, so we opened up the uh, box, and this is what comes inside of the Sideshow Collectible Gambit statue. So the first thing we're going to go over is this coat. What do you think of that, Sage? I really like it. it it's so detailed, and it actually looks like a real coat. It does. It's kind of a, That's a hard, hard material here for the, uh, for the coat. This has a little back piece right over here so that it connects right into this part right here which is gambit's body i he has really no like arms. i know he has no arms on this one this is his uh his body his torso and his lower half i love the um i love the pose that he's in yeah i really do the well the finished nice. product of it but there's that hole right here mm -hmm. so you can connect the jacket to it they got the uh gambit 90s purple on here with his boots it's got that Raging Cajun style to him. Let's put this over on that side. All right, next up we have Gambit's cards. And what's pretty cool about this is that he has three aces. Okay, we have the ace of spades, ace of hearts, ace of diamonds. Unfortunately, no ace of clubs. Clubs is my favorite suit when, uh, when I play cards. It's kind of a like a plastic material. Very translucent here. And it's very bumpy. It is. You can see the reason why it's bumpy is because it has all the kinetic charge from Gambit's mutant powers in here. Yeah. And you can see it's connected to his hand right there. He's got his throwing motion right here his through his hand. It's kind of covered by it too. Well, yeah, that's. Like he has it on one of his fingers. He does. Yeah, that's actually a good point. That it's like one of his fingers has a, a little bit of that pink kinetic charge to it. Those are his cards. Then next up, we'll start with uh, one of the heads that come with the Gambit. So this is one of uh, 2,000 pieces. This is the limited edition collection. I have uh, piece number 628. It's marked here. I'll show that in a second. First head up is the Mean Muggin Gambit. So this one, it's a kind of a, like a pissed off Gambit. His hair is flowing here which is actually i do like that part of the head sculpture his hair is everywhere yeah it's free flowing but he's definitely got that mean mug mugging to him on uh, on this head so that's the standard head that comes with this statue there's uh two different uh statues there's one of four thousand and then there's the limited edition which they only have two thousand and the reason why I got that one is literally it's just because of this piece right here. And so this Gambit head is the limited edition one. He's got that toothpick in his mouth. He's got a smirk on his face like Gambit's up to no good, which is kind of true. He's a thief. Yeah. So he's always up to no good. That one oh. is my favorite head. Yeah, it is. It's definitely the better of the two heads. Uh, you know, his hair isn't as free flowing on this one as the other one. But I just, I really enjoyed that toothpick in his mouth, that smirk on his face. Like, you know, Gambit's always got something up his sleeve, pun intended. And uh, that's the main reason why I went with the limited edition statues, just because of this. If this was uh, a statue that was created in the 90s, he'd probably have a cigarette in his mouth. Because Gambit was a big smoker in the beginning of uh, his uh, introduction into Marvel Comics. But obviously with the comic book act, they wanted to get rid of smoking in general because they felt it was a big influence in kids so now when you see something like a toothpick in their mouth that's what was replacing that so this is pretty cool i love i love this head on here uh, next up we have the base for the gambit statue this is number 628 of 2000 you got those signature gambit colors here that purple and pink i love that base yeah it's, it's so nice it is a really, really nice base. And it's very smooth. It is. It's got a nice texture to it. Um, you can tell where they wrote the 628 
it's like handwritten on there to verify that this is indeed the limited edition uh, Gambit Marquee. It's mint. It has no scratches on it. It's pristine. It's very pristine. It's mint. And then we have one of Gambit's hands with his, you know, bow staff here. When you think of Gambit, you think of cards. You also think of his bow staff. The bow staff is really long and it's not bendy. No, it's not at all. It's really not bendy. You know, like his cards, they're very bendy to it. So, but the staff itself is it's actually pretty, pretty sturdy here. And then this is the base, the other part of the base uh, that comes with it. This one is heavy. I think this is where Gambit, once we build this statue up, this is gonna, you know, hold up Gambit. This is supposed to be a danger room statue. Uh, so this is like part of the danger room. Wait, and then I, I think that it might connect. I did say that, yeah. With it, this part? Yeah, yeah, I said that. It, if you look at the statue, it, it's going to go on this. Yeah. It does. Yep. And then you have some stuff on the back. These pieces, I believe these are just like explosion pieces that go with the base of the statue. They're very spiky and cool. Yeah, very spiky. Uh... Yeah, these are pretty cool. Makes it look like that action. It's going to help, you know, create a picture of Gambit in the uh, danger room fighting one of the Sentinels. Uh, and these are this is one of many X-Men pieces to the uh, Sideshow Collectible. It matches up with Rogue uh, specifically. But then they have like Colossus. They have Juggernaut. Um, and all those pieces connect. And it's actually really, really cool. I just, I, I don't have the space for that stuff. And besides, Gambit's my favorite character. So I just pretty much collect everything Gambit. But um, yeah, now we're going to build a statue. about 10 minutes to put together but it was very difficult yeah it wasn't as easy as we thought it was going to be we ended up having to watch one of the uh, how-to videos just because of those bottom like blow up pink charges we didn't know where to put that on the uh, on the claw and the girl said that it was like there was magnets but we couldn't like find the magnets really easily and then so we put the uh exclusive head first so if you look at it it has the toothpick we started off with that one this one looks fire yeah this one's so sick and then we're gonna put on the other head for uh this gambit statue and this is the other head to the gambit statue this is the basic head with the f free flowing hair doesn't have the toothpick on it. It's got more of that, as we mentioned earlier, that mean mugging gambit to it. Very angry it gambit look, to it. It looks good, but not as good as the um, exclusive head. Yeah, I would agree with you. I, 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 that's the whole reason why I bought the exclusive one. It just looks a lot better. Not that this one is a bad look to it, but um, it's pretty dope. Gambit's coat floating over there. You got that bow staff. Kinetic Charge, and that is what the completed uh, Gambit Sideshow Collectible looks like. Highly recommend it. I love it. I love it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. We have Facebook, Instagram, and... Twitter. Twitter. Amaya Bros Comics. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.